Hey you guys, welcome. We are going to check out Panama City Beach and a lot of you probably have been there but you're just aching to go back and you just want to see how it is right now. Pop in and check out a few things and then we're just going to see what it's like right here. So let's go check out Panama City Beach. All right, first up is Pier Park and this shopping area is so nice. I love coming here. I come here every single time I come to Panama City Beach and you're probably looking at this going, yes, I remember some good memories at this place because it's clean. It has a lot of fun activities for kids and families and adults. And of course, lots of fun restaurants and shops. It has the work. So just check it out. Here is Pier Park. Just across the street is Russell Fields Pier Park, and I love this place. This pier is fun. They have a great bar and grill here with an overlook to the ocean. Of course, it's just a great spot to, to be. And sometimes people want to find one of these beach accesses that matches their age, and they'll take a picture of that. So that's kind of fun. They have that all along this whole entire beach area. The right side of this pier is the dog beach. You can bring your dog and it's awesome. It's really cute to see some of those furry friends hanging out on the beach. And yes, it's gorgeous. It's so pretty being here. But for those of you who like facts, this pier is 1,500 feet long and it's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all year round. So you can just pop on that pier and enjoy your time. It is a great spot to fish and just walk. Next up is Sharkies. They popped in to check out their patio in the back. They have an amazing view of the Gulf. And of course they have the Tiki Hut and the lights, which is awesome. This looks like a really fun place to hang out. And not too far away is Senior Frogs, which is also a fun place to hang out. They do have a little bit extra fun, I think. And they also have a great view of the Gulf and uh, food and drinks, of course. So looks like a lot of fun. And one interesting thing that I found is that it is just one building in between these two beautiful properties. So easy walk between each of them on the beach or on the sidewalk. And you guys, the poor coffee shop. Of course, you're always looking for fun little coffee shops, but I think I found the best. It is the cutest, the most Instagrammable <laughs> coffee shop I have seen to date. It's got comfortable couches and places you wanna just sit and relax for hours. And of course, really good coffee and baked goods. This is a good find. And don't think we're gonna leave this area without getting some sweets. We ran into Amore Donuts and this place is so cute. They have some fun signs on the wall. Of course, you can take your picture and they have ice cream and they do have pizza and food and sandwiches. And of course, a lot of specialty donuts. They're all good. They said they're all the favorites. The breakfast burritos are also amazing. And just down the road is M.B. Miller County Pier. And this pier is great. It's a nice public beach where you can swim and they have a nice pier you can walk out on. And this is really nice if you wanna be away from the hustle and bustle of the city and all the activities over there. This is quiet. It's really nice So They do have decent bathrooms. I won't say they're the best bathrooms I've ever been in, but they're beach bathrooms. They're just fine. Overall, it's just a really nice quiet area to have a beach day. And if you're looking for a little bit more fun, right across the street where you can use a crosswalk 
is Goofy Golf. And this is quite a crazy little spot. Of course, there's some weird sculptures here, but there's also some fun photo opportunities. I would refer to it as creepy cute. And speaking of fun, you'll actually find a lot of family activities. There's of course mini golf and go-karts and Ripley's and Wonderworks. Well, you name it, they have it here. And I want to take you to one of my favorite places. This is not everybody's cup of tea, but Lotus Cafe and Zen Garden is really fun. It's beautiful. And I always like to get my favorite juice here at the juice bar, but they also serve food. It's a restaurant as well. So I know it's not for everybody, but I thought it was kind of fun. Next up, I'm gonna take you over to Island Time, and this, among other companies, have a lot of different tours, sailing, dolphin tours, and of course, Shell Island. So this is one of them that they had here at the marina, and I thought it was kind of a fun little interesting place to come and see. They run a shuttle for a three hour tour in Shell Island for like $47 a person, and it seats like 100 people. So they do a lot of fun little stuff here. One interesting thing I found was their parking lot is made completely out of shells, which, how crazy is that? Next up over the bridge is a place called Off the Hook, and it also has a Shell Island shuttle. And this is a fun little bar area. They do have things like parasailing and of course the shuttle to Shell Island and renting pontoons and all sorts of stuff here. So I just thought it was kind of interesting and I popped in. So here we go, let's check it out. All right, everybody. Thank you guys so much for coming. That is my update from Panama City Beach this time. I hope you have a great day and I will catch you soon.